complete the game in minutes. Using the paintbrush glitch from before, you can build a staircase in a specific location to complete the game. For some inexplicable reason, reaching this location will propel you into the end cutscene. So step one, head over to the temple district in the Imperial City. You're going to want to position yourself near the front of the main building. Two, once you're in position, it's time to start dropping paintbrushes just like before. Three, jump on top of your paintbrushes, drop more paintbrushes and keep repeating the process. It's best to do this while coiling around the center building. Be sure to save often. If you fall, it's frustrating to have to climb back up. Five, once you make it to the ledge, jump onto it. Six, put some more paintbrushes down and begin climbing upwards. You'll notice that the wall in front isn't solid at all. Seven, slowly work your way down once you're inside the middle of the building. It's recommended that you use paintbrushes for this, but if your acrobatics is high enough, it is possible to drop down without dying. Maybe save before you attempt the drop, just to be safe. Eight, now that you're at the bottom, you'll need to work your way over to the southwest side where you'll see a broken, glitched looking door. Nine, walk almost through the door, not completely, and turn your camera behind you. You'll see a random door sticking out of the floor. Ten, walk over to the door. Even though it says it's the same location when hovering over it, it takes you to a different place completely. Eleven, you'll appear inside after going through the door, but the room will be bright red. 12, turn yourself around and go back through the door you came in. You'll end up outside and oblivion gates will be everywhere. This is because you're at the end of the game. Have a stroll around the Imperial City and wait for some time to pass. You just need to waste some time in game while you wait for a message to pop up that says something similar to the city has been overrun. 14, when the message finally pops up, you'll need to make it your active quest. Now simply go back into the temple and wait 12 in-game hours. 15, once the countdown has finished, you'll have Martin Septim run over to you. He'll send you on a quest and then he'll run into the corner of the room. This is because the quest he just sent you on is now finished too. Go talk to him again. 16, finish your conversation with Martin Septim and then the end game cutscene will begin.